Hi everyone, I wanted to share this with you on a video. We just got information about an opportunity to go to a private pick. It's for a friend of the family's uh, loved one that passed away. It was the girl's father and she has not been in that home for several years. Basically what they asked Mrs. Flippin and I to do was come on in, take a look at some of the stuff that's in the home, maybe make some suggestions as far as how to get rid of it. You know, do you wanna go the estate sale route? Do you wanna do private sales? So it's a very unique opportunity for us to go in and have access to everything in the home just by ourselves. It's like our own private estate sale, private pick. I'm really excited about it. I don't know what to expect. Like so many of these things, you know, it could be a bunch of junk. It could be some really valuable things, but the opportunity exists for us to go in and check it out without anybody having looked at it before and uh, i'm really excited about it so we're going to jump on this chance i've been given permission to take video in the home so when we get to the house which is probably about a 15 minute drive here on a monday monday early evening uh we will go inside and we will take a look at what sort of items await us i'm looking forward to it so come check it out with me the first thing we noticed was the fact that this gentleman was a police officer so he had a lot of collectible um, motorcycles, police motorcycles, police paraphernalia in general. You can see all those toy cars. We have a mug there. We have that cool clown in a cop outfit. Some more mugs, some more glasses, just lots of cop related things. Very nice and probably very collectible. He also had several model cars. You can see that one right there is already assembled. He had a couple in boxes as well, which we'll take a look at in a bit. And then Mrs. Flip had found this. We have a couple of Barbie dolls in their boxes. That's from Y2K. Unopened Barbie. And then we have a Cinderella doll from Disney. Right there again, unopened. Definitely collectible and definitely worth some money. Nothing great, but worth some money. Worth our time, that's for sure. This was super cool. We have a Captain Morgan lit sign that you would see in you know a bar environment, something like that. This was down in the basement. There's a close-up. We plugged it in to make sure it worked, and sure enough, it absolutely works. Looks nice. Kind of a pain to ship this thing, but we're going to look up comps, see what this is worth. I'm sure it's worth something. And then here's another one for Coors Light, the silver bullet. Same kind of thing. These things are maybe two, three feet wide, about a foot high. There you can see the Coors Light thing. Fully illuminated, works perfectly. Looks fantastic in a bar or in a basement. Definitely looking to uh, make some money on those guys. Next up were these hats. Some of them were quote unquote vintage. Uh, this one's for Bushmills Irish whiskey. And what I wound up doing is I just took a look at them all together and then I went into this uh, vertical view. So you can see the more detailed. You have a Jeep hat there. I figured each one of these hats would probably get between, you know, five to maybe 15 bucks or so on the high end. I'm gonna have to look up comps. There's another Bushmills, so we got two of those. They're all in really good condition. They were clean. I mean, I'd probably just wipe them down gently to make sure there's no dust on it. That's a Captain Morgan hat or a cap. Then you have the Harley Davidson, of course, super collectible. The, uh, the fire kind of thing on the brim. And this is another Harley Davidson, I believe it was, and it had a nice metal patch on it. Uh, this guy is a Vikings fan, so we have several Minnesota Vikings items. That's a nice hat as well. These are all, you know, maybe 15 years old, 20 years old. So we have several Minnesota Viking hats there. Very excited about those. I've never really listed hats much, but I know they can sell. And there's another one, Central Champions, that's from 98. Guinness hat, which I might actually keep. Big fan of the product. <laughs> nice looking hat. I'll definitely dust it off. There's a Mercedes Benz cap. Gonna look all these up. And that's a Jägermeister cap. Gray with like a nice looking patch on the front. As we said, Vikings fans. So that's a nice Vikings mug. A little cloudy in there, so I'll try to wash it down, but it's probably worth a few bucks we took the he had pens and pencils in there it was more of a pen holder than a drinking glass speaking of drinking glasses these look to be pewter i'm not positive that they are we'll take a look at them but you could see some shot glasses for different products different types of, you know you got jameson whiskey things like that i'm gonna look those up as well but they're solid shot glasses a toy model 
micro helicopter there. I think it operates. You can see that's unopened. I'm intrigued to look this one up, see what the value might be on that one. And this one was also kind of cool. It looks like a CB radio, I believe. Take a look at the box again. Yep, includes an audio adapter, Midland portable CB radio. There you go. And I was saying earlier that he had some model cars. Here's one that's not done. It's a shorter scale, a smaller scale, I should say, but BMW in the box, new old stock. These were super cool as well. As Mrs. Flipper takes off the little, uh, I don't know what that is, little castle. That's a telephone, folks. The Ocean Racer Budweiser telephone. I should have lifted up the handle, but trust me, it's a telephone. And there's the other one. Also says Ocean Racer. Not sure if they work, but I can't see why they wouldn't. They were uh, set up. And then we have this uh, carousel. Carousel horses, sometimes they do well. Pretty good condition. Again, just needs kind of a dusting. All right, we're back home. It's the next morning preparing this video for you guys. I just wanted to let you know there were some other items that we did pick up, like uh, some DVDs that were all sealed. I listed about 10 of them last night. Got a couple of records as well. Also listed those uh, five or six records. We're going to wind up going back because there were plenty of additional items that we really didn't have a chance to look at. They were in crawl spaces. They were up in an attic. So the guy's son, who now owns the home, He's the beneficiary and he received the home <laughs> as part of the estate. Well, anyway, he's going to go upstairs and take all the stuff down for us and get the stuff out of the crawl space. So we're going to have a lot more to go through and provided we have an opportunity to get over there before they do an estate sale, which is what they decided to do was go the estate sale route. Uh, provided that they, you know, let us come in before that happens, I'll do another video, obviously, and try to get as much as I can before it all goes out uh, to the public. So again, thanks so much for watching everybody. Please do leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and you'd like to see more. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I'd be delighted if you would consider doing so. Just hit that subscribe button and become part of the team and the fun here at Jiminy Flip It. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.